Good evening, Board of Trustees, Drs. Ronnie, members of the Executive Cabinet, and those who are attending in the audience this evening. It is with great pleasure that we welcome you to the Arboga Elementary School's board presentation for the 2023-24 school year. Tonight's board presentation was produced by myself, Joe Seiler, Principal, and Kylie Ligorio, Assistant Principal. We take great pride in our efforts to provide all students who pass through the doors with a great educational experience, and we are excited to share our story this evening. The purpose of our school plan for student achievement is to ensure we have a roadmap to guide and measure our progress and success. The SIPSA is developed collaboratively with multiple stakeholders and our site goals are aligned with the district's LCAP goals. Throughout this presentation, you will find student achievement data, site goals, and how the data drives our decisions to ensure academic excellence for all of our students. The Arboga Elementary School is the southernmost school within MJUSD and the only TK through 8th grade site serving approximately 730 students. Our campus features 19 elementary teachers who teach a self-contained model, 6th grade teachers who teach a semi-self-contained model with partner teachers, transitioning to a true middle school model for the 7th and 8th grade years. Each side of campus features an intervention and enrichment period dedicated to ensuring our students are receiving academic support based on current data. We are excited to offer honors and AVID courses to our students for the first time, and we look forward to serving more students in these rigorous courses in future years. Completing our comprehensive needs assessment is a method we use to determine what our students and families need to ensure academic success. As you can see on the slide, we pull data from a variety of sources and strategize ways to get our students to grade level and beyond. On this slide, you will find our preliminary CASP ELA results, which are trending slightly lower than previous years. On a positive note, our beginning of year star reading results indicate a nearly 10% increase from last year at this time and 42 percent of our students are currently scoring at or above which is almost double the district average this slide displays our preliminary casp math results our current seventh graders made 10 percent growth between their fifth and sixth grade years our beginning of year star math results indicate a five percent increase from last year at this time and 12 percent of our students are currently scoring at or above the district benchmark average on this slide, you will see our percentage of students with three or more unexcused absences and our average daily attendance over the past three years. As you can see on the slide, we are making steady progress and we are currently above 95% for the current school year. At our BOGA, we commit to 180 days. This slide displays some of our discipline data based on the number of students suspended each school year. As you can see, 3.2% of our students were suspended during the 2022-23 school year. With an increase of 100 students, we are currently displaying similar data trends as previous years. By utilizing other means of correction, support staff, and interventions through our PBIS program, we are able to keep our students on campus and in the learning environment. On this slide, you will find the results from the California Science Test and our English Language Assessment for California Data. The summative LPAC measures how much progress our EL students are making in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. This chart helps us understand the percentage of students per grade level who have scored an overall level four score on the LPAC. Last year, we had 24 students improve their overall score and 14 of them passed the LPAC score with a four. So far this year, 14 students have received a score of four and 10 reclassifications have been submitted and approved. Our BOGA developed a SIPSA that aligns with our LCAP goals for MJUSD. Throughout the next few slides, we will share the actions that we will utilize to improve student achievement and the criteria utilized to determine success levels. LCAP goal one is centered on improving academic performance by addressing the various needs of all our BOGA students. The actions listed on the slide are a few of the activities utilized to support this goal. We have also re retained two of our student support specialists to help coordinate academic and behavioral interventions, participate in student parent meetings, provide support in the classrooms, and develop activities that celebrate and acknowledge student achievement. In LCAP Goal 2, we are focused on addressing the physical, emotional, and safety needs of all students and staff. To achieve this, our PBIS team attends the latest training offered by the district to better develop interventions and support our students on and off campus. We have weekly flag assemblies, a cougar store, and weekly Fritter Friday drawings. These activities and strategies improve school culture, strengthen a connection to the school, 
and provide more connection to the community through various events. LCAP Goal 3 is centered on preparing every student with the skills needed for college and career readiness. We allocate funds to build and improve the classroom and school library, which provides our students with engaging books, resources, and information on college and career interests. Funds are also utilized to introduce our students to STEAM education during their electives. With LCAP Goal 4, we are focused on building a system of specific support for our English language learners. Our student support specialist works closely with our district-funded EL facilitator in the following, providing classroom support in English language development, LPAC testing and preparation, and EL reclassification and monitoring. Building and fostering positive school-to-home relationships is the primary focus of LCAP Goal 5. We strive to achieve this through collaboration with our PTSO team in the following events. Jogathon, Fall Festival, Pancakes with Santa, Academic Award Assemblies, Athletic Events, and many more. Our sixth and final goal is to improve access and inclusion opportunities for students with special educational needs in athletic events, school events, and award recognition. Our total budget for the 2023-24 school year is $537,301. Our school site council meets throughout the year to adjust and collaborate on how to best allocate the funds to best address the needs of our site and LCAP goals. We would like to take a moment and thank the Board of Trustees, Dr. Azrani, the Executive Cabinet, and all members of the District Leadership Team for their continued support. Without your support, guidance, and collaborative approach, our school would not be on the cusp of meeting or exceeding the goals outlined in our site plan. We thank you for allowing us to serve this wonderful community of Arboga, and we look forward to providing the families with an environment of excellence for many years to come. Thank you.